Welcome back to Mega Man Legends 2. Uh, there's a monkey dancing to our side. And last time we started our way through the Salakata ruins. This time we're continuing that. Once again, ignoring this invincible monster. To make our way through here. Single hallway, and at the end there's more of these annoying things. They're thankfully not a big deal at all. I have no idea what those things are supposed to do other than exist. They don't seem to have an attack. Now bad news here is that uh, these enemies are very far away and, you know, if we get close, we'll have to deal with both of them and the flamethrower and possibly lava. So now seems like as good a time as any to actually switch up our buster part, uh, our, our buster parts for a bit. Go all in on the range. You can hit much farther away, lots of... See? It'll do less damage, but... It'll actually hit him at all, so, you know. Good. <laughs> Look how far we can hit him. That's impressive. See, that was a good idea. Oh god, that was a bad idea! Missed that jump. Failed that spectacularly. Just casually killing more enemies while I'm on fire. Thankfully, it only took half our health because we got off the lava quickly. But that's still a major is. Stop doing that. It's just annoying. Got three treasure chests in here. Don't care what the map says. Obviously there's three chests. What else could it be? Ah, <laughs> what the heck? So this is a very strange mimic. It's kind of like a combination of both of them, except when it turns into its forms with uh, legs, it shoots out some zenny and occasionally health. But if you walk in front of it after that, it'll shoot exactly one bomb. And it'll keep doing this while it's here. Yeah, but if you like, stay too close to it, I guess, after you open it, it'll do minor damage like that. Which you don't want either. But yeah, it's, it really surprised me because it just kept going. I, I expected it to like run out of Zenny at some point. But it doesn't. You could, in theory, just keep doing this forever and get forever amount of Zenny. I'm just going to keep doing this until I get bored. Oh, 
Okay, I got bored. Onto this next room is these strange spinning spiky guys that run right into you if you get too close. They don't seem to do much until you get close to them or, pro or like provoke them. Hoping to get rid of these guys first, just to be safe. Not the safest, actually, uh, but, uh, yeah. They're very weird enemies. Knock them down. But as long as you're not near them, it's not a big deal. But they also don't give you anything for destroying them, so... Very strange. Not even the only enemy that gave us no money. So that's security system C. Even though the door opened, I'm still getting the same reading. I guess it's not open all the way. There are uh, probably yeah. two locks, and the second one is open by another control panel. Look for the other control panel. I sometimes wonder, do they just assume that people who play this game can't read? Would, or like, would immediately forget or something. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> We're all nowadays just just repeating the stuff we know. Both in and out of universe, I don't I don't see the point at this point. Anyway, we just get rid of more of these things. They just appeared here for some reason. And we're going to make our way back and to go through that other door. Fortunately, these things spawn back in and oh god, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's, that's a horrible combo. I better get out of there right now. So, this is the one positive of this effect, or the one less negative aspect of it, at least. Is that if you're on fire, you can't die from merely being on fire. You have to be hit by something. We're gonna try our best to get out of here immediately. So we can reheal and go through that final door in this area. Let us be healed by the dancing monkey. Thank you, dancing monkey. Okay, let's try this last door. And once again, ignore the boss. He must be sick of having to chase us around. So these guys not only can't appear, but just jump out of the lava in front of you and be a real dangerous hazard.
doesn't seem like you can hurt them, or at least it's incredibly difficult to hurt them while they're doing that. So I'm just gonna clear this room of these guys, I guess. Okay, we got past all that. Basically, I almost died again like an idiot. <sighs> Stupid lava. Okay, what else do we have in here? Just this one thing. Looks like that did it. Do you know which door is unlocked? Yes, I do. The real problem is going to be uh, getting past all of this stuff and not getting hit by anything. So if they're hit once, we're dead and we have to redo this room again. It's not the huge deal necessarily, but it would be very annoying. Go, go back and heal! And then we'll go through the door we're supposed to. Hey friend, come back here. I want to play. Be careful, Mega Man. There's something inside, and it doesn't look like a Reaver bot. Doesn't look like a Reaver bot. Doesn't mean it isn't. We could just get that rock to fall. We could probably get the lava to stop. We've got to hurry, though. Teasel says Mega Man's already here. Bubble, bubble, bubble. True. It's just that I don't want to see him right now. You know what I mean? Mega Man? Is there somebody else there? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, um, uh... Huh? Oh! Uh... M Mega Man! What's happening, Mega Man? Are there more pirates there? Uh, yeah, but, uh, they're uh, acting kind of uh, funny. Funny? What do you mean, funny? Just what's so funny about me, huh? What do you think is so funny? Uh, nothing, I just... What about you? I see you're still letting that... that second rate the cat boss you around. You're the one who's funny if you ask me. Mega Man? Is it that Bond woman again? Remember, she might be a woman, but she's still a pirate. She doesn't fight fair. Why should you? Roll? Hmm. Anyway, do whatever you want. You can let that poor excuse for a spotter boss you around for the rest of your life for all I care. We've got work to do, and we'd appreciate it if you'd stay out of our way if you don't mind. We'll stay out of your way until we find the key, all right? Got it? Good then. Bye. What do you want? If you want to help us, fine. Just say so. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Well? Sure, why not? Okay, so here's our mission. Mission start. In case you didn't read that, what we have to do is uh Well, first of all, let's uh switch our sub weapon back to the lifter. Okay. So what we have to do is see these little guys from before, those spiked ball enemies, what you have to do is uh, knock them down, not destroy them, just knock them down. 
and then lift them up and throw them at this giant rock. And that's that's it. That's all we really have to do. Just pick these guys up and then throw them at a rock. <laughs> yeah. This rock has a boss meter, by the way. It has a health meter like a boss. Bon and Tron will also pick them up if they can, if you knock them down. So they will help. Probably take too long to justify. You know. Probably take too long to be fun if they didn't. But just automatically go towards these guys. So if you don't pick them up, eventually they will. And it's, it's a very simple mission. Unless you jump into lava like an idiot. In this case, it might be much more challenging to not die. If you're stupid enough and go straight into lava. Thankfully, we're doing well. This won't take too much longer. Trying to grab it, didn't get close enough in time. Thank you, Bon. Also, that one just exploded in front of me. They can still hurt you if you run into them, even when they're knocked down, by the way. So you want to avoid doing anything stupid like that. Uh, as long as you can avoid the lava, this is a very easy mission to complete. That might be it. But it's barely not. There's like a tiny, tiny, barely visible area of the health bar left. Like literally, I didn't even no notice that there is anything left until right now. Also, you need to do the final hit for this to happen. All right, that should cut off the flow of lava to the room with the reaver bot. Now all we have to do is figure out how to defeat the reaver bot, and we're set. Bubble. Huh? Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Good idea, bot. Well, then why don't we get him to do our work for us? <laughs> Now that his energy supply's been cut off, that Reaver Bot's defenses should be weakened enough that he can be damaged. I'll bet that once he's defeated, we'll be able to get the key. All right then, our alliance is over. Next time we see each other, we're enemies again. Understand? Sure, okay. Come on, Bond, let's go. Babu! Well, you look like you're having fun. Huh? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, why would you say that? Anyway, we have to make sure we get to the key first. Ready? Yep. My instruments show the temperature is dropping steadily. It's really gone down in the room that giant reaver bot's in. I wonder what that means. Any ideas, Mega Man? I don't know. We got rid of the lava in this room, and now the temperature is going down in the place where lava is. What could that mean? Now that the lab has stopped, the giant reaver bot's energy supply has been cut off. You should be able to beat it now. Good news is that, yeah, we can actually beat it now. Bad news, we can't leave this room. Considering how little health I have left, this is a problem. <laughs> so now I have to do this entire boss fight with this giant reaper bot. And we only have one health. If we get hit one more time, it's over. I'll have to redo that entire previous exit with Tron.
So I was gonna say something about the Tron bot section, but I think the only thing I really have to say is that uh, Tron is failing to beat the Sundari accusations. Though it, it is like a bit subtler in this game. It was hilariously obvious in the last one. This one's just, like comparably subtle. Comparatively. This boss has a few attacks, he now has these weird. What look almost like ghost spirits. Yeah, we have all these almost like ghost spirits that keep chasing after us. He does this fire breath attack that will shoot in front of him for a while. He'll hit his the back of his giant head at you, which will cause like a shockwave in front of him. Like that. We want to go to the side for those two attacks and the auto just carefully and slowly dodges these projectiles while doing that. But we're already down to below half health. So we're doing well at least. We haven't gotten hit again. We could technically use our like energy canteen, but I just I don't want to use that right now. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, keep carefully make your way around all of this. Carefully moving back and forth from left to right. Just so those things don't home in on us. Like, they're easy enough to dodge, but the, like, the only problem is, like, just having to keep both the projectiles and him, you know, keep both of them on track at the same, like, keeping both of them in mind at the same time. However, we're doing quite well, and we seem to be nearing the end of this boss fight, based on the health. Strafing still worked very well for us. Just about done. If you could do like one more attack, that'll be it. That poor guy. Poor giant weaver bot. I almost feel bad for him. Did you find anything, Mega Man? I'm picking up what looks like a key on my scanner. Let's see. The only door you haven't opened yet is the one all. Yeah. Once again, I I pause for something and forget like that. Mutes all the voice. Mutes her voice for the entire thing. Anyway, we beat the boss. We have a key to open that one door we couldn't get through. And after all that, we're still not done. So next time on Mega Man Legends 2, we're going to use that key and hopefully we'll be able to find the third key. See you there. See you next time. See you somewhere, I don't know. See you.